Hello and welcome to Woke Watch. This week it's Winter Woke Watch. Something that's become clear is the more woke a person is, the more likely they are to be obsessed with pronouns, usually using them in a feeble attempt to fight off reality. I could say my pronouns are she and her, but clearly that is not the case. Also, we've had the rise of neo-pronouns, where people just make any shit up and say it applies to them. But what if you feel no pronouns apply to you? You're just too damn special to use any words that apply to anyone else. Well, there's a short video coming up that explains the issue, and it gives me hope, because it looks like the people who go out of their way to be offended by fucking everything have accidentally come full circle. First, I want to say that anybody can have no pronouns. Whether you're agender, non-binary, or just no pronouns align with you, you can use no pronouns. Now, what that actually means. This means instead of using any pronouns to describe this person, you would be using their full name. I'll use myself for an example. Knowing my pronouns are they, them, you would say, oh, they went to the store and then they recorded some TikToks. But if I were to use no pronouns, I would say, oh, Rachel went to the store and then Rachel recorded some TikToks. Some folks who use no pronouns will also sort of abbreviate their name to create their own pronoun. I'll provide an example. For myself, perhaps I decide that I want my pronoun to be Ray because Rachel is too long for me to say sometimes. Then I would say, Ray went to the store and then Ray recorded some TikToks. That way I'm still not using any pronouns that exist or any gendered pronouns. Instead, I'm almost using my own nickname as a pronoun. Does that make sense? So that was Rachel, who despite clearly being a woman, uses the pronouns they, them. And it's not a good start that they think that Rachel is their full name. That will be their first name. They will most likely have a middle name and definitely have a surname. When you put all those together, then that is their full name. And shortening it to Ray in order to save time. In the grand scheme of things, does dropping one syllable make that much difference? However, the notion of introducing yourself using just your name and not your pronouns, should we tell them? That's what normal people do. When I meet someone for the first time, I'll say, hi, my name's Danny, nice to meet you. It's easy. Is it too much to hope that maybe these insufferable narcissists will go back to using the language the rest of us do and maybe things can be a bit more normal? On the flip side, of course, there is a danger with that. Because if they sound like us, how are we meant to spot them? Usually, the pronoun police are fairly easy to spot because they've either gone out of their way to make themselves look as grotesque as possible, or they're wearing the same expression as a character in a zombie apocalypse movie who's been bitten and doesn't want the others to find out. In a sense, maybe it's a good thing that those of a woke persuasion introduce themselves with their pronouns, because that allows people like me to immediately leave the conversation because I'm not spending my finite time on God's earth conversing with some delusional halfwit who insists on being called a deck chair. But here in the UK, there's a group of professional people who've been put onto a compulsory taxpayer-funded course to educate them into how to introduce themselves with their pronouns, how to respect other people's pronouns and neo-pronouns, and get rid of outdated language like transsexual or transvestite. And those people, are the counter-terrorism department at the Home Office. Therefore, if, like me, you're a British taxpayer, you are going to work to fund a course for the men and women, although I guess now we have to say the men and women, they, thems, zezers, and fucking kitten selves, whose job it is is to keep us safe from those that want to do us harm. They are now more worried about using the correct pronouns. The next Bond film's gonna be shit. The name's Bond, James Bond, and my pronouns are he, him, and they, them. Does anyone think that if we have some hardline Islamic extremist strapping on a suicide vest in order to run into a crowd of people and take out as many infidels whilst detonating himself, would he be appeased if we checked we're using the right pronouns? To be honest, I don't have an ending for this video. The wind's picking up, it's freezing cold, and I'm going home. So, as ever, thanks for watching.